four former prosecutors and an ex-gendarme officer have been imprisoned after a court ordered their arrest due to their role in the search of trucks allegedly carrying weapons to opposition groups in Syria, a move that came shortly after government figures, including President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, accused the officials of treason. In his testimony, former Adana Chief Public Prosecutor Suleiman Baryank, who is among those arrested, revealed that Justice Minister Bekir Bazda intervened in the probe by asking Baryank to allow the trucks which were allegedly escorted by National Intelligence Organization MT, officials cross into Syria according to the Maiden Daily and the Grihat News Portal. This allegedly happened despite the fact that no institution has the authority to give instruction to the judiciary, as per Article 138 of the Constitution. Barry Ank, former Adana Deputy Chief Public Prosecutor Ahmed Karaka Adana prosecutors Aziz Tuk and Ajkan Sisman and former Adana Provincial Gendarmerie Commander Col. Ozkan Koke were arrested on Thursday on charges of attempting to topple or incapacitate the Turkish government through the use of force or coercion and exposing information regarding the security and political activities of the state, Maiden and Grihat reported. During his interrogation by the prosecutor overseeing the investigation, Barry Ank was reportedly asked why he ordered the trucks to be searched, despite orders from Bosda not to search the trucks and let them cross into Syria. MT has no authority to deliver arms to any organization or state, in line with the laws regulating its missions and tasks. In response to the question, Barry Ank said, how could I know that the person with whom I had a conversation was the minister, and, if he had any demand, then he should have sent it in written form rather than just saying it. Moreover, does the minister have the authority to instruct me to stop searching? Following the interrogation, the officials appeared before a judge to defend themselves. Their lawyers asked for new judges to hear the case while their client appeared before the judge, but the request was denied. Sisman reportedly rejected the accusations of engaging in a coup against the government, saying, Despite the fact that I ordered members of the security forces to search the trucks, they disobeyed the order and left the scene. Given that this is what happened, how can I be considered someone who attempted a coup? Although the government has claimed that the trucks were transporting humanitarian aid to the Turkmen community in Syria, opposition voices have continued to question why the minister and local authorities stepped in to prevent the trucks from being searched if the operation was within the law. After the start of the crisis, Erdogan immediately began a defamation campaign against the prosecutors and military official in question by accusing them of plotting against the government. In addition, Erdogan called the operation and investigation another instance of the parallel state, repeating the accusations that he has frequently leveled at the faith-based Gulen movement. Erdogan considers the Gulen movement also known as the Hizmet movement to be behind the December 17, 2013 corruption scandal that implicated Erdogan, some of his family members and high-profile government officials. During his defense, Tuk described the course of the incidents as theater, and said that the decision to convict those on trial had already been made. Sisman also claimed that the prosecutors had only done what their positions required and described their prosecution as cruelty against the judiciary. Meanwhile, while the prosecutors were being led out of the courtroom, a police officer was seen attempting to handcuff them, an action that was strongly criticized by both prosecutors and members of the legal community who were at the scene to support those arrested. Baryank's wife, Shuriya Baryank, posted tweets declaring her support for her husband via her Twitter account on Friday, saying, My husband, 
despite all the pressure, carried out a coup against those who seek to undermine the rule of law. Is it possible to imprison a person who has dedicated his whole life to living and dying in an honorable manner, without demanding gratefulness from anyone? He has been always happy, even now. Because the most valuable things in his life are his honor, conscience, and his respect for his job, Shuri Yabariang shared in other tweets. European Commission expresses concerns over arrests. The European Commission, EC, has criticized the arrest of the prosecutors and the gendarme and has said that it is closely following the case. An EC official who spoke to the Sahan News Agency on Friday emphasized that judicial independence is a key element of the rule of law. EC spokeswoman Maha Kasajansik stated that if those members of the judiciary have engaged in misconduct, as has been claimed, then the investigation should be carried out in compliance with international legal principles. Additionally, many bar associations across the country have declared their support for those arrested. Antalya Bar Association head Alper Tunga Bakanel said in a written statement on Friday, Today, prosecutors and judges are being arrested and everyone is silent about the situation. The Turkish judiciary is being dragged into unprecedented chaos via such unlawful actions. We are against those judges and prosecutors who order detentions and arrests at the behest of the government. Adana Bar Association head Mengusik Geza TRK also lambasted the government, saying, all the prosecutors did their duty. The government was caught red-handed with trucks that contained weapons for use in Syria. The judiciary is being used as a means to create the empire of fear that the government is trying to establish.